All right, guys, uh, before we move on, just to let you know, if you have certain watches that maybe you want to trade in, or perhaps you have a watch you've been looking for that you really want, but you're not sure how you can get it, uh, we can actually help do it for you. Just fill in the details in the Google form in the comment section or the description. Either we'll already have what you want, or we, we will do everything we can to get it for you. So yeah, comment section and description. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. And we are going to be talking about some of our favorite watches that have a luxury feel, but very, actually very, very affordable. So let's start off with uh, Dato Michael. Um, well, well, uh, I'm just the moment when uh, yeah. I first walked in just now, I noticed that you are wearing a Kermit today, right? A the, apparently, apparently. Yeah, right, the one that right, worth right. about 70,000, right? You want me to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, to be honest, because this is a this is a very this is quite a rare piece because yeah. uh, this is a fifty year anniversary. Fifty um, anniversary from, no, from okay. Rolex itself. The base is green. Just show people. Wow, man! This so is the first thing I would say, right? The green so is not rare. This green is very. Um, it's a classier kind of green. Mm, yes, this is a this is a classic um, Rolex green color. Uh, Rolex copper color is green yes. color. So they put on it on the uh, 50th right. anniversary for a uh, uh, submariner, which is the other hand that you're wearing. Mm, so, okay. well, interesting. Um, got a good taste, MJ. And yeah. and one another thing I noticed is the fact that the hands are fatter. Yep, the hands are fatter. Correct. The hands are fatter. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So tell, tell, yeah, tell me more. Right? Yeah. Let me, let me see. Let me see. Wow, this is, bro. Wow, this is rare, man. This is not. Huh? The Kermit that you're thinking it is. Really? I thought this is. <laughs> no. <Huh? laughs> it looks. I think I'm seated, seated closer to you. It looks almost the same, right? That's Jensen. a Seiko. Huh? Really? That's a Seiko. Oops. Oops. <laughs> wow, you look at it. This is the Seiko. And this is the yeah, yeah. original. So, so I'm I'm still a bit in this too. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm still a bit in this too. Uh, confused. Yeah. So. Confused. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you wanna show you wanna show yes, our, our viewers show. or oh, our, our I, audience? Oh, I get what you mean. Uh, take a look. It looks. Yeah, yeah, take a look. It looks uh, exactly. Sp speaking of Seiko homage, homage. And you would yeah. think they are the homage. same brand. I thought they are the same brand. Yeah. Looking at the bracelet, the color of the green bezels and the, the color, the logo, the placement, logo, the placement, the dials, the dials, the markers. Yep. Except maybe for the for the what, what difference? Yeah. What visual difference are there? A cyclop. You see, the Rolex one has a cyclop. Always has say, a cyclop. Uh, there's this dead magnifier here. Correct. Whereas a Seiko doesn't have one here. Yeah. But I mean, Seiko has a day. Yeah, has a day. Yeah, this has one a day. has just a date. A date. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Seiko has, has a, a day. Date. date. A day. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But I totally understand why this is seen as uh, you know a commit. Yeah, this is a commit. I thought this I thought that was a commit when I first walked in. We walked in now. here, we saw you, oh, that, oh, that's, wow. that's a commit. And yeah. I knew this this year is when, when you nice say one. commit, you're referring to the frog, right? Yes, yes. Oh, it, the commit the frog. The nickname, right? the nickname. The nickname. The nickname. I'm just name trying to draw a connection in my head. Like, what, what, okay, why is it correct? I just want to know how much do you think you, you, you how much do you did you buy this for? The Seiko the, one. The, how much do you think this is? I mean, to be honest, uh, when I first started collecting, this is a Seiko 10 bar. I didn't wish we spoke spoke about the, in our previous episode. Uh, you can get it easily at below 10, below 1,000 ring, below 1,000 ringgit and automatic. how much is this? <laughs> well, look, uh, this was were first introduced at about 20 over 1,000 and then now a full set is about 70,000 ringgit. 70. 70. So this is seven. Nice car there. 70 times nice, of what? Nice car. This, nice car right there. Yeah, correct, correct. correct. <laughs> a car on seven my, zero. my fingers. So this is probably what? Eight, nine hundred? I think now you can get about, yeah, about 900, 1000. So it's 70 times of what? This is 70,000. There's 70, a nice yeah. bike. Yeah. There's a nice bike, 1000, <laughs> yes. But you see that's-, that's Bicycle, you Bicycle. Mean. But you see that's interesting, right? Because if you don't tell me, I don't know. Yeah, difference. exactly. So there, are, so there are actually a lot of watches in the market if you spend some time doing research, you spend some time mm, looking yeah. for it. But to be honest now, even though you have 1K, I don't think you can get that Seiko 10 bar anymore. Right. So uh, um, if you can, uh, or if you want, uh, just drop us an email. Yes. Oh, yeah. We can't guarantee that we can get for you, but we will try our very, oh, we very have best. Our sources, yeah, we have yes. our yeah, sources. Yeah, we have our sources. But if you ask me, uh, off my head right now, can I get my answer is no. I haven't seen this for quite a while. Yes. Uh, but if we come across and you really, really like it, we will let you know. Yes, speak, guys, and, you, and, and uh, yeah, sorry. Well, like, guys, if, if, if even though we can't get it, if you email us, yep. we'll have you in mind. 
Mm. We have it in mind so for that sure. means when it does come, you guys will be the first. To yes. Know. I, I'm, just to be clear here, we are talking about this one, right? The 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 cheap but you know luxurious Luxury feel. Right? feel. Or yes. you know, are we looking for that actual commit maybe email? Oh. So if let's say I want an email for for the commit, I can. You both. Email both, both, right? both, both, right, both, right, right. both. But this is a great watch. It is. It is. It is. I like it. Looks great. Looks. Yeah, great. looks good on you. Okay, so uh, yeah, just one last question. Uh, as you know, I just have to go back to this question. Um, yep. Does it have similar sort of investment profiles? Uh, do they uh, hold to, their value? Yes, to be gold? honest, when I first started this like a few years ago, um, it was below 500. <laughs> I think now it's easily when above you say 1, few years, what? Three, yeah, three, four? three wow. four, four years ago. Honestly, That's Seiko is old. Yes. Seiko is a great company. Producers when, when, great when watch. I first when I first told Jensen about this, Jensen was like, "Are you sure that Seiko watch price went up?" I said, "Just collect and collect it for about two, three years, three, four years. You get the answer yourself." I am proven wrong again and again. Yeah. Keep thinking. A few years back, two, yeah. two thousand twenty, two thousand nineteen, the yeah. watch. It's a Seiko man. Yeah. Everyone heard of uh, heard of Seiko. Yeah. The price don't go up. Yeah. I'm wrong again yeah. and again, right. again and again. again. Price keeps yeah. going up. Yeah. Japanese people, man. Yeah. Jap- <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I mean to, be, to be honest, but I mean that just now we just spoke about it's like if you can get a vintage, real vintage uh, Seiko mm. below one k, just bite the bullet. Got it. Yep. Keep it for four five years, you double up your price easily. I, I beat so many bullets in yes, the last few months. Really fantastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, affordable yeah. bullets. Huh? Affordable bullets. Affordable yeah. bullets. Yeah. Very, very. No, they are very affordable right yes. now. And the thing is, they appreciate in value. And yeah. okay, much less that particular watch right there looks exactly like you know just this one. That's why you know just now there was this right. Yeah, yeah. So Correct. you know if it if it's a watch that fits a certain demand like that one right there, and yeah. it's a vintage watch somehow, yeah. it's gonna go premium. Yeah. So watch number two. Okay, this is another watch that usually a lot of my ex investment bankers, a lot of uh, people who have a lot of Rolexes, the first watch that they will cross over to Seiko is this model, which is the which is the Seiko Hulk. This looks right. exactly it's like a, a Hulk. Good uh, honors. I mean, you know that a, a Rolex Hulk now actually will cost you close to about 90,000, 80 plus 90,000. This is a Seiko Sumo. Yep. Sumo. Oh. Sumo. This is a green color Sumo. Um, Everything they, looks fatter. Looks That's fatter. True. Looks bigger. Everything looks fatter. Yeah. Yep. Thicker and um. Apparently yeah. they don't. Yes. Apparently they don't say that they have discontinued. But if you go to most of the shops, uh, the green color is the one that is the hardest to get. Um, they have actually limited down their productions. Yes, it is still in production. We do not know when they will actually stop production. Uh, but the green color is is you can ask us all the is it uh the how, how does the weight feel jensen no this is a weight really solid, bulky, bulky watch right yes. yeah, i mean if you wear this you we know you have, this watch you know you have a big wrist yeah, you know yeah, in order to pull off this watch right, yes. it's not easy yes actually i i, I realized there are a lot of uh you know people who are looking for sumos sumos and uh, lots of people who are also selling online yes and if oh. you can you're hard working you know you can find a really good condition right? because yes. there's a lot of uh, buyers remorse here yes honestly for sumo to be able to pull that you need to have big like, wrist like, like oh you're saying bias remorse sumo because wrist. it looks nice they pass the eye test but people don't have big wrist so yes. therefore Precisely. people just want to get rid of it yeah yeah one yeah. of those watch that you can go out there and hunt it's yes. called sumo for a reason correct uh. yeah it's really nice looking correct really yeah. nice good looking. and and affordability well, I mean, a brand new piece, you can get it close to uh, less than three. Mm. But uh, if you want to get a pre-owned, you can actually get it less than two or, oh. or what, about two. So it's really, really two. affordable. Mm-hmm. It's really yeah. affordable. And uh, if you ask me, even though you get it like two or less than two, when you want to resell it in future, there's no problem you will sell it at the same price. Are you uh, so, you know, are you strong? Because you want to hold on to this is what? Yeah, it is. Heavy. Yeah, it's I, very I heavy. Hold on. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. This uh, is a Seiko Hulk. It is very heavy. Yeah, <laughs> it's a heavy. bit like uh, that's what the that's where the luxurious feel comes from. Huh? Correct. Yes. It's it heavy. feels like yeah. there's one kilo. Uh, one kilo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very very heavy, well yeah. very well polished sapphire glass. Uh, it is not. Uh, it is. It's like the weight of a spatula almost. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. A spatula. I, I was going to say there's about maybe two hundred. Yeah, I think more. I think yeah. about three three fifty. Yeah. About. Now guys, if you have a watch in mind that you want us to review that we haven't reviewed yet, just let us know in the comments, right? Uh, We'll definitely respond to that and get to you ASAP. But you said that if you pre-own it, it's going to be worth less. Does that mean that the secondary market is not... uh, Sorry, it means good for buyers, but certainly for investors, it's not... 
that attractive. Actually, ah. actually, for 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 no matter is it Swiss or Japanese watches, yeah. when a new watch was launched, I, mm-hmm. I see it's launched. I usually ask all my members don't chase the price. Like for example, the the they have queue off the the old. Uh, uh, Rolex Panda and come up with the new Rolex Panda. The new Rolex Panda now is commanding at a super crazy price. It's like when first Sprite was being launched, when first uh, the the new Starbucks was being launched, the demand is crazy, the premium is crazy. But after a while, the the, the price actually cooled off. So when this price was when this watch was actually first launched, it was selling at sub four thousand, mm, and a lot of people are like lining up grabbing it in the market because it looks so good and then those people who are buying this are a lot of them who actually owns Rolexes and they want to try how Seiko actually feels like and this is Ooh. one that they think that okay this a lot of my friends investment bankers um, some some rich dudes that have plenty of Rolexes they just buy this for fun and they say wow I'm impressed with a sub 4000 this actually gives you the quality of sub 4000 yeah, you, yeah he's absolutely yeah. right lots of my friend who uh, this will be their first watch to, yeah, yeah, yeah. to, to come he's, over from, he's absolutely right yeah. uh, just anecdotal you know, just my personal experience lots of them who collect yeah. Omega yeah. right uh, you know uh, the Rolex yeah. and whatnot. When they first jump over to Sumo, Seiko, they start from Sumo. Sumo, right? yes. In fact, we have a common friend, Aaron. Mm. Yeah, you know, he comes on the podcast all the time and uh, yeah. you know, yeah. you realize he's actually sporting a watch these days, yeah? Mm. The black Sumo. Yeah. That's the one. That's the they one. call it the Ninja Sumo because it's all blacked out. Yeah. And that's mine. Yeah. That's <laughs> my watch. <laughs> it's a pretty looking watch, but you know, you can imagine uh, yes. when they are first drawn, you see all these finance people, when they are yeah. first drawn to watches, uh, yes. they go for a sumo. They go for sumo first. Ooh, yeah. Then from sumo, maybe feel. slowly they'll go into turtle. It they'll makes them feel samurai. like mm-hmm. confident and yeah. makes them feel. I mean, I, I what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I don't know what's the real reason, but I don't know. Financial people are always looking for ROI, the best ROI. <laughs> so the, it's okay, I pay a little bit of money, but this is the weight, this is the polishing, this is the presence that oh. I'm getting for like a how. Yeah, let's see. If you hold, when you hold on to this watch, now, right? heavy. When he said polishing, right, you feel that it's not clunky, like it doesn't cling clang a lot. Yes. Yeah, it feels like it's very tight. Yes. Like it goes around very it's substantial. Yes. Yeah, very substantial. Substantial is a good word. Yep. You wear it on the wrist. That Feels weight there reminds you of how much you know it is. Yeah, how much weight it, it carries is. around. Yeah, interesting. So, but but this is not as cheap as the one that not not to say it's not as affordable as the one that you're wearing. Mm. Yours is about one k or course. slightly above one k. This is. 2k or slightly above 2k so again i know that there are a lot of viewers here who are very rich so maybe you think that yes your budget can extend a little bit then i will introduce you the watch black, number three watch number three okay. the black bay oh the black bay the Tudor, Tudo. which is rolex little brother yeah right so okay, this is uh, rolex Tudor black bay this is the uh, first this is a nice one. classic color. model with uh, their own in-house movement because Tudor used to have all eta movements so this mm. is the first Tudor diver watch with in-house movement and straight away I say I need to get this I want to get this right but again a lot of people say that this watch itself is very bulky because it's the, the it size is, itself it looks is 42 it looks thick. Yeah. It looks and it's thick. very thick and it's very thick itself yeah, yeah. Uh, but look I like OG so this is the the, the, the first the first in-house movement to do so uh, that is the first time that when it's introduced I said dude I must get this mm. Yes, it's a very nice watch. Yes, so um, you can also very bulky. Yes, very bulky. Uh, yeah. Um, um, if you're comparing this, uh, uh, um, I mean that similar products from Rolex, it will be a Submariner without date itself. It is um going for about brand new fifty five thousand. Uh, this piece brand new is maybe about thirteen fourteen thousand. Second hand um, Submariner without date, no date is going to cost you maybe close about forty five forty six thousand. A second hand for this Black Bay is below 10,000. Hmm. Wow. So I think that it's uh, really a good buy. So I mean, if you follow us, we will, we will actually share with you a, a bit more how to stretch your money to get the best bang out of your bucks. No, and then seriously, the best, yeah, yeah. One best thing I value. learned a lot from Michael here yeah. is really to understand the pricing, yeah. their strategies. And yeah, you always get the best bang for your buck. Trust, I mean, MJ, 10, less than 10,000, you get a little brother of Rolex made in Swiss. And yeah, yeah. I mean, if you keep this for another like 10, 20 years, I'm, Great I'm, finishing. I'm very, very confident that it will go above 10,000 easily. Great yep. finishing as well. Yep. That's, yep. Yep. I mean, honestly, if you ask Where me, was this, sorry, where was this? What was the price of this uh, watch? When it was new Two launch. years ago. Let's two say two years, years ago. ago. You mean uh, brand new or pre-owned? Um, let's say pre-owned, let's say. A pre-owned uh, three years ago was about 10K. So now it's also, which means that the pre-owned market for this model hasn't actually went uh-huh. up so much. Interesting. So interesting. it's very interesting because a lot of people think that it's 
too bulky, it's too thick, it's so big. But if you ask me, if you are looking for a dive watch, I think there's no harm to be big and bulky. Mm-hmm. But they have came up with 39 mm and also 37 mm for those who have smaller wrists. Uh, and it's apparently it's way, way, way thinner. So those fellas who have uh, like smaller wrists or you want it wear it when you are wearing a suit, opt for the uh, 39 mm or the latest 37 mm. And um, look, they have various colors. Uh, the the 39 mm, I like the one that comes with the whole blue. It's like the Smurf uh, in Rolex. And then the latest 37 mm, they actually comes back with the burgundy, uh, um, the burgundy this uh, insert bezel itself. So it looks ah. very, very heritage. Burgundy, very, very Burgundy is a maroon one. Maroon. Yeah, the maroon one. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. comes back with the uh, Jubilee straps. Mm-hmm. Jubilee bracelet looks very, very good. Oh, I love it. Good yeah, Jubilee strap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you ask me, well, I mean, if you want to get a, a a good solid diver, which has some vintage vibes, you can see that there's some red color here at 12 o'clock, brownish, goldish down itself, 9,000 plus. Which I think bad. this is one you of the best like buy, it. It's not too tacky for the color scheme. Uh, seriously? It's not very tacky at all. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. It's very classy. Yeah, let's yeah. go. Less nice, than 10K, nice. why not? Okay, good start. Now, good start. Uh, we have a couple more watches to walk through and we'll go to Jensen now, right? Ah, yes. come on. I cannot compare, you know, yeah, to the watches. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, no that's, why we, that's why we start off with his watches. Okay, yeah. but, okay. But I'd like yes. to share something. Uh, you know, we were doing a video before today and uh, we were talking about movie watches. Yes. You know, if you have not watched a movie watch, I think it's go a very it interesting out, guys, episode. Yeah. 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 And, uh, you know, this watch we also spoke about in our very first few shots, yes, uh, yes. shoots. Is that they just? Is that they just? No, it's not. <laughs> mm. Seiko 5 2 tone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. So this watch here is, um, is it, we, were, we were saying about movie watches and then this was the watch that we referenced yes. Yes. in Correct. Hong Kong movies, right? Yes. You want to get a passage from China to Hong Kong, you, you came this <laughs> yes. watch, right? No, this is the watch that- The Zao Lo watch. The Zao Lo watch. Yeah, the Zao Lo watch. <laughs> the runaway man. watch. The runaway watch. Because it's referencing Rolex 2 tone they yeah. just as well. Yep. Now there's a movie that's also using this watch. Now they didn't say that it's a Seiko 5. They actually call it a Rolex in the movie no itself. Way. Oh. But Rolex didn't like it. Okay. Uh, there was one movie that Rolex didn't like being referenced. They're pissed, man. They're pissed. They're pissed. You know what movie I'm talking about? Uh, I don't know, man. No? American Psycho. Patrick ah. Bateman. Oh, that one. Uh-huh. Oh, right. So yeah. that is a Seiko. It's not a Rolex. I it's thought it's a, a Rolex. Seiko. Oh my gosh. That's how close it looked like. Oh my gosh. Speaking of uh, luxurious feel with uh, you know, cheap price. It does how, much, how much can you get this for? Trust me, dude. I mean that now you can't. I mean that you have to pay at least about a k, one k, or even more than this. Jerk. Those days, um, As MJ. To, no way. Sub four hundred. That's how the direct. <laughs> that's how the. It's the, not even sub five hundred. It's sub four hundred. That's how the producers, uh, you know, reduce their costs. Exactly, uh, man. Yeah. Exactly. But, but to be honest, when you wear this out those days, people people might think that oh, you are trying to be somebody because you are trying to copy Seiko. But nowadays, because people don't give you this sort of thinking anymore. And this has become a very iconic vintage model mm-hmm. out there. And it's not something where you have money and you can still get one from the shop itself. You mean you're talking about the SNK? Yeah, yeah, you can't. Actually, yeah. yeah it's Singapore quite also, you can't get it yeah, from, yeah. It's quite just, just, just yeah. pour off from any of the- But you know, just, just, to go, just, just to show that, you know, for any luxurious watch out there, if you see any kind of, you know, they yeah. wear a politician wear like yeah. a great watch, you can actually find a very cheap budget yep. option. And then it just give you the same vibe. Yes. Yes. So much so that they actually put it in the movies and call it a Rolex. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was this scene uh, they just said, don't touch my Rolex. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's actually referring it's to a, a Seiko, Seiko, Seiko 5. <laughs> uh, so this is just a watch I like to call back to and it just gives you a luxurious feel. Yeah, it does. Uh, for very maybe. affordable. It's still, it's still about 1K? Yeah. yeah, it's about 1K. You can That's watch crazy. the, you know, our first shot, I think, yeah. uh, first shoot, I think we talk about this watch. Yeah. But for this piece, if you are looking for a, a new old stock, mm-hmm. um, people is asking for about 1.5, 1.6. Oh yeah, it's true. If it's, if it's brand a new, new stock, brand new. Yes. Brand new in a, is a in, in the, the old casing, box yeah. here in the old case. Crazy man. Yeah. 1.4, 1.4, 1.5. 5, 5. Yeah. And I know the last one is the one on your wrist, right? You yeah. Me. All right, okay, so. So if you are enjoying the video so far, uh, always remember to support us by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Click on the notification bell so whenever uh, new videos pop, you'll know it right away. You know, we're gonna it's go away from- This is a pretty cool one. I like it, yeah. I like it. We're gonna go away from uh, all the Hooders and all the Seikos and all the Rolex. Yeah. And we're yeah. gonna talk about a brand that, honestly, I don't know much about. Yeah. It's called Ginzbo. Yeah. Ginzbo. Yeah, yeah. If you Sounds Google- Sounds German? Swiss. 
Swiss, Swiss, Swiss yeah. yeah, it's a uh, it's a watch. If you Google now, Looks there nice. are still some there are still some models coming out. But but I think that I mean that the fun of this sort of so called those days earlier days they call it independent watch. Yeah. It's not the independent watch that we are calling today. So yeah. now the independent watchmakers that we have it today, uh, or we saw in the market, uh, the price has went like crazy. They're yeah. competing with like the likes of they said they want to be compete. They want to be compete with like. Patek Philippe or wherever, right? But those days there are a lot of very good watchmakers. Like what what Jensen said, if you travel to Switzerland, yep. you walk on the street, you see so many old watch shops itself. They have actually their own brands. They have actually yep. made their own watches itself, right? Because to be honest, I mean, getting a a movement, a Swiss movement in Switzerland, it's like getting a banana in Malaysia. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you like can it. get a, a, a engine right. anywhere that you want, but. The design itself, the design language itself, uh, the dial and everything is the one that behind the watchmakers. Yes, mind. and so, I appreciate this of history. So what, what what I'm trying to make with this, what point I'm trying to make with this watch is, here is that this is a watch that I got for I don't know less than five hundred. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Really. Less than five hundred. Good deal. It's great. It's automatic. Yep. It looks clean for a vintage watch. I have no yes. idea when this watch was produced. Yep. Uh, this watch has a crosshair as well, so you can see the lines in between yeah a dial. and then i think i think the fact that you know it has a sharp hand makes yes. it look a bit classier yeah, yeah. It i is. mean it, it doesn't give you like uh you know uh, any any vibes that modern watches give you it really is the the old money vibe you know yeah people have been talking about new money old money yep. it gives you a bit of an old money vibe that's yeah. right and the fact is i got it for less than 500. so the, yeah. the thing is if you go around i think all around the travel the road and then you just go into that vintage shop yeah like, right. like what michael said just now you go to the swiss and you, yes in their pasamalam version of their <laughs> uh, flea of market their, yeah in the flea market <laughs> you could find a lot of great deals great like deals, this yes, yeah yes for less than 500 for less than thousand yes i think that gives you a a lot of uh, not just luxurious feel, but a callback to the history. Like, yes. what what did you, what was the word you used? Design grammar, design language, uh, design language, design yes, language. Yes, yes, yes. Sometimes they just speak out to you. Yeah. Again, back to our first few videos. Use your eye test. They pass your eye test. Use a wrist test. Yes. Sits on the wrist. Very comfortable. Very luxurious. And that's yours. Correct. And, and trust so, me, man. I mean, if you wear this uh, in a in a uh, suit or in a looks uh, nice. Yep, white color suit. Uh, well, white color a uh, uh, shirt with a black color suit. Um, go into a, a ball or whatever. Versus you're wearing a submarina. I don't think submarina is a conversation starter. I I'm bet that this will be a conversation starter. A uh, hot take. A uh, hot take. Uh. Sometimes yeah. when I wear a watch like this, Guinness yeah. book. What brand yeah. is that? Yeah. yeah, people ask. Right, people, people ask. ask yeah. People ask you. But if you're wearing a submarina, people might ask you, is this a replica? How much you bought it? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, sometimes it impresses people more than the yeah, actual yeah, Rolex. Yeah, yeah, everyone yeah. is wearing a Rolex. Correct, correct. And then you with that ball going and wear a Ginsbo. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it just creates that, you know, uh, you're it, just standing out. Yeah. It's a conversation yeah. starter. You just stand out. You just stood out amongst the. Correct, others. correct, yeah. correct. So I mean, will you say all these newer, uh, not, not newer, sorry, less known watches? Um, more undervalued, like would this be, will you consider this undervalued? I, brand? I hope one day you'll be starting to talk. About, uh, we, we will start to talk about independent watches because yeah. I think yeah. there are a lot a of lot hidden good. gems there. Yes, independent watches out, yeah. out of the big brands, you yeah. know. Yeah, and uh, I think a lot of hidden gems there where we could actually talk about oh, yeah. because they are great watches. Yes, yes. and uh, I think also to a certain extent we will see the 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 the, the trend like wine. Yes. Right, there's new world wine and there's old world, world wine, wine, France, Italy yeah, yeah. versus Australia, Australia wine, Chile, Chile. Chile yeah. I think in the future we will have new world watches, yeah. old world watches Correct. as well. The old world watches like Swiss, like Correct. Japan, like Correct. Germany, and then we have new world watches like Chinese brands. Oh, Malaysian Ming, Malaysian Ming, yeah. yes, 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 very Singaporean good. Vario, yes, very good, Singaporean, very good, very stuff. good independent watch brand. He is a fan of Singapore. Yeah yeah, watches, yeah, 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 yes. So I think, yeah, you will find a lot of luxurious pieces there as well. And and to be honest, I mean that if, if uh, in front of the viewers, if you think that you want to learn a bit more about vintage watches, I think we can have one episode about vintage watches because to be honest, I mean that if- I love that. Both of us love that. I, I mean love that, that. MJ, can you imagine how can you own a piece of history, which is a 1950, 1960 watch below 1000 ringgit? And just trust me. And it exists. And it exists. Mm. And the condition is it good. Exists. Yeah. And this condition <laughs> in is a good. box like that, maybe. Uh, not the box <laughs> like that. Yeah. But keep keep the watch for four or five years. The wow. value itself will go up easily. Trust me. 
easily. Yeah, easily. Thanks to this video as well, of course. Yeah. Thanks to what uh, Dr. Michael here. So this band okay. watches will watch us. I mean, yeah. I'm really excited for the next few videos. I, I know our yeah. next one we discuss, you know. Oh yeah, 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 yeah very interesting video coming up as well. We'll tell you, we'll tell you. All right, but yeah, guys. As usual, thanks for staying all the way until the end. If you stay all the way until the end, it means you like our stuff or you just hate us so much you want to find fault with us. If you do, it's also it's, it's okay. Just no issues. leave your nasty comments in the comment section. Yeah. Um, also reminder guys, uh, any of these watches that you see, uh, you know, either we have stock and you can express your interest in Google Forms or even if you don't have, just express your interest anyway so that uh, when we do have stock, we will put you in the, uh, what do you call it? You, your, your, you were, you're you far have, ahead now you in the line. in our thoughts and prayers. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> uh, uh. Or maybe one day when when we have enough uh, um, uh, inquiries, we can do a half an hour fire cell count. Oh, Why auction. not? Yes. Auction. I'll not be here. I'll auction, be the one yeah. bidding for the yes, price as well. Auction. Okay. Auction. All right. Let's do it. Let's yeah, do it. Sounds fun. All right, guys, as usual, thank, thanks for watching. And, All right, uh, cool. You know, signing off, guys. See you in the next video. Thanks. See you. Bye-bye. Bye.